Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I have my friend back on the channel. We're doing what this time? We're playing uh, Brandon Slifer. Managed to uh, go from one to dead. And man, who are you? I meant to say that. Who are you, bro? Well, my name's John. Just uh, second time going. Been coming back to local sports since I want to say last May. Okay. And finally started winning. Oh, I love that, dude. Um, before we get started, what deck are you playing? Branded Slifer. Okay, Branded Slifer. I had to say it again just to make sure everybody actually noticed that. Um, before we get started, is there any other shout outs or anything you want to give? I want to shout out to All Pure Yu Gi Oh! Shout out for putting on the scene, put, uh, shout out Rose for putting on these great tournaments, and just shout out to everybody that showed up today. Alright, man, I love that. Let's get to the deck profile then. Alright, so here we go. The main thing that's going to set this deck apart is the Slifer package right here. Two Slifer of the Sky Dragons, three Branded, three Revived Sky Gods. And one of the things that makes this deck this so good is one, not only do you get to just use this to bring Slifer to the field and basically floodgate the board by any Monster Day Special Summon going down by 2,000, but if it's 2,000 or less, then they just go straight to the graveyard. But another thing that makes it good is the fact that you can banish it and get Monster Reborn straight to the top of the deck, and if Slifer, when Slifer goes, if you play it after Slifer goes to the end of the turn, you just draw a Monster Reborn. So that's very good for a recursion. So th that's the main thing that makes this deck different. But then here is the Bestial Package. Only down to four, because for this deck you don't really need that many bestials. But it's basically good for like if you're going against tier elements or like any type of deck that has like lights or darks in a graveyard that work, you could just banish the monsters to get a free summon to the field. And then of course, free pops is Jewish Worm, free searches, and you can also make them meet some of the summoning conditions for your fusion monsters. So that makes them good as well. And then here comes the Despian package. One Despian Tragedy, two Alubers, Dramaturge, and Ad Libitum. And the thing that allows these monsters to be very good is one, these are are good starters. So if you don't draw Brand of Fusion on the first turn, you summon him to the field, you get to bring either rather Brand of Fusion or Branded in Red to try to make a fusion happen. Or if you have those cards in hand, Branded Lost so you can protect your fusions from being blocked or countered. Assuming they don't have anything in the game, Branded Lost. On the top of that, it was Dramaturge. He's good because regardless of what fusion you make, as long as you can, if he's in the hand or if he if he's in the hand when we're on the field, you can either banish him or just send him to the graveyard for the fusion. You get to get him to come back. And then he's also very good because if they summon some XC or fusion, you can just imperm that monster right then and there and stop him from being able to use his effect. So that's easy. Then there's Ad Libitum. He's good because of not only can he just boost like all of your monsters up by their star mount times 100, but in addition to that, you can use him to bring back a uh, Despia card or a strong fusion card to the field if you use him for fusion from the field to, or banishing them or you know like sending it from the hand. So he, him and Dramaturge are both good for that. So there's that about that faction. Despia and Tragedy, that's a free draw for like if you use Gold Sarcophagus or anything like that, use Gold Sarcophagus or use Foolish Burial, you can take advantage of his effect and he can come through in the clutch whenever you need another fusion and you have Brandon Fusion or Brandon Red in the graveyard. So he's very useful on both counts. So then that's that for the Despian Pageant yeah. Chains. Two Fright First. And then two Polys is what you would use. Poly, but two Polys. Because again, you discard this card and you can use it to get a Fright Fur. Then you can use Fright Fur, get another Edge Amp and Polymerization. I think your Polly's right here behind the Edge Amp. Like yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's uh, there. Yeah. So yeah, these cards are getting way too sticky today. And that's all you know I've been playing double duty. So you do that, you can get into Guardian Chimera very easily, or if you're in a locked situation and you have the right cards, you can either just make, I don't know, you can make either Masquerade or Lubelion or even Albion if you have the right cards in hand with doing it. And especially if they negate a brand of fusion by playing something like Ash Blossom already in the turn. So this package is one of the, one of the power points of this deck, because if you play this and you have Branded Lost behind, it, they're gonna you basically not only make Chimera like untargetable, but then you just get to get free destruction and then you have a monster that cannot be targeted unless as long as this is in the graveyard. So that's good. Then here come this is the regular branded and or Albas package right here. 
Fallen of Albazes, Blazing Cartesia the Virtuous. You use two of these, well really three of these, ideal in most situations, but two of these to, uh, because of not only are they a free super poly, whenever you summon them straight to the field, and they have like, I don't know, like an XC or a fusion or something, or just, or even just another dark, you can use it to like make a fusion. But what makes these also good is, you can fuse by dumping these two into the graveyard with branded fusion, to make Albion and go into your other fusions. And if you don't banish this and you or a fusion gets destroyed, you get to just bring this back to the hand. Or if Albaz is already in the hand and you have another blazing, you can just um, as long as you special summon this to the field and use its fusion effect. So that's good for that. Then here is branded fusion. This deck's main star. Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, this is as long as they don't have Ash Blossom or some other type of like yeah. just hand trap or Omni Negate, you just get a free fusion straight from the deck with these cards. So yeah. it's very useful, important to just launch in a whole branded strategy. Yeah. And branded, there's yeah, branded like and red. And then here's the three branded openings. Here we go. So yeah, branded and red, and the branded openings. This is good because if you find yourself in a brick situation where none of your starters come in hand, as long as you have a card you can that you want to discard or you really need to, you just activate this, discard that card, and you can either bring a Louver straight to the field so you can launch it for branded fusion, or you can use Dramaturge just so you can make sure he's out there for you to use the fusion effect and recur. So that's very useful in that regard in branded and red. That's another good one where like let's say they negate your branded fusion, you can and but you have an Albaz or a Despian Grave and it's your turn, just activate Brandon and Red, bring that card back to your hand, and go to Fusion. Even though you're going to be banishing the monsters, that's another way to just make sure you can still get your effects off. Then there's Branded Lost and Branded Banishment. These cards are especially useful because one, you have this here, they're not playing anything when you fuse because of what it does. But also when you make a fusion, you can use it to just pull an Albaz or a card that mentions them straight from the deck, so that's very useful. And in him, this is basically super poly the trap version for Brandon, along with a free, uh, mon free fusion recursion. So he's useful there too. Then there's Foolish Burial, very good for either dumping Edge and Chain if you want to go straight into the Fright for strategy, or dumping Despian Tragedy so you can just get straight into a uh, get straight to drawing a Louver out. So that's useful there. Then Monster Reborn, just if you need if you're stuck with a fusion you need to recur, or if you're trying to play into the Slifer thing and you have enough uh, cards in hand, he's very good for just bringing Slifer back as well. And then there's the three super powers. Come through in the clutch cards right here. The second you see them putting out two monsters that you think are a threat and they fit the right light, and you have either Garur or Moodragon and you haven't used them yet, or even Stapalia, you can just put a stop to whatever you're doing by activating this card that can't be responded to. That's amazing. Is that Perfect 40, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's check out the extra deck. All right, so yeah, so Despian Coritas, just a very good card for making sure you just bring all their monsters down to zero as long as they're not level eight fusions. So that's just the, if they have an oppressive board, you can just weaken it right then and there. So it's good for that. Guardian Chimera, mention him quite a few times. You can use the Fright for Engine or Brandon and Red to take advantage of him and bring him straight to the field. Just destroy their board, get a free draw, make him untargetable, and attack for 3,200 without them being able to challenge him. Brigand. The Brigand the Glory Dragon playing these at two right now in the deck. They're very useful because with their condition you can just activate Branded Fusion, put Albaz and Slifer straight into the deck, and not only do you make your other monsters untargetable by card effects when he's on the field, he's a free Albaz search, but in addition to that, play Revive Sky God, bring Slifer straight back from the graveyard to the field, draw six, and then you get to use the Slifer Floodgate. So it's very useful for that. Predator Plant Dragos to Palea, just always useful for stunning the board. Masquerades, tax your opponents, make it to where them activating anything. If you get two of these on board and they're losing 1200 each uh, time to activate an effect, yeah, they're not going to be uh, lasting long for the rest of this game. <laughs> There's a variety of cards, but there's not a variety of cards. Wait, I played my card game.
Two Albions. Very useful not only because if you use Albion during that map during the first turn of Fusion Make Mirror Jade, you can just dump the second Albion so you can get his brand get his branded fusion search. Very useful. Start fusion. The the rest of the super poly package right here. You can use this very good against like Sword Soul if they have two cards with like the same type of different attribute. You can just ruin that board that way. Or you can just, uh, if they have the same uh, attribute and type of different names, you can just use Garora. So then that's very useful for just get it ruin, ruining annoying boards. Mirror Jades. Very good come through in the clutch cards if you think that they're going to put on some type of oppressive monster like a Shangira or something. Just banish that card the second you see it with Jade. You can go into dumping either Albionatus or Albion to get free fusions. Or you can dump Brigand so you can uh, get Albi Albash straight to the field at the end of the turn and use the fusion effect. Albionatus, free contact fusion, good at attacking twice. If you use them with Perskenion and attack twice, you can really get over on your opponent by making him take 2,500 twice. And then he's also good for uh, just dumping with Mirror Jake, you can use it for either Poly or uh, any spell with the name Fusion. Branded Fusion, Shadal Fusion, etc. Interesting. And then Lubelia. Good for if someone tries to make you play under Dimension Shift. Because you can use that, recur the cards you use to make the fusion, make Mirror Jade anyway. Well, that's awesome. Well, once again, dude, thank you for um, letting me do the deck profile. And also, congratulations again for our next one. Um, once again, back on the channel. And I'm sure you'll be on here many more times. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Thank you once again, John, for letting me do the profile. Until next time, guys. Peace. All right. Peace.